Hello everyone, this is Tara with Northwest Association for Blind Athletes and welcome to this core stability video. So to start off, we'll get into our warm up, then we have a couple different flows we'll get into and we'll go into our cool down. Let's get started. I'm going to play some music here while we go. All right, start on you your back on the ground. The and down, when you're on the ground, the head rested, live, you're going to start with your feet planted on the floor. Or feet planted on the floor, knees pointed towards the ceiling, head rested, arms by your side. Then what you're going to do is you're going to curl your, um, crunch your abs so you're curling upward and your shoulder blades are coming off of the ground behind you. Then you're going to lift your feet off the ground so that your shins are parallel with the ceiling. Point your toes towards the ceiling or flex your feet. Lift your arms slightly off the ground so that your arms are level with your shoulders. Shoulder blades are hovering off the ground. You're going to then pump your arms up and down. Your sides, palms face down a few inches. So arms go up a few inches, down a few inches, as fast as you can. Those arms pumping and breathe. Take deep breaths. Try to breathe in for four pumps. Breathe out for four pumps. Arms up and down, shoulder blades off the ground. Using your abs to get those shoulder blades off the ground, relaxing your neck, relaxing your shoulders. All right, we'll rest our head, drop our feet, and three, two, one. Head is rested, feet are dropped. Next up, we're going to do either crunches, sit up, or roll up. So, what we're going to do is you're going to um, have your feet still rested, hands up towards the ceiling. I'm going to then engage my core, use my core muscles to lift my shoulder blades completely off the ground. My entire torso comes off the ground and my arms reach forward. So I'm re sitting relatively upright. I'm bouncing on my bottom. As I rolled up, I lifted my feet off the ground, toes point towards the sky so that my shins are parallel with the ceiling. I'm gonna slowly roll back down and repeat. If you choose to leave your feet on the ground, you can do that. If you choose to do a crunch, so just your shoulder blades coming off the ground, feel free to do that. Or keep your feet on the ground, do the sit up motion. Nice job. Couple more here. After our next one, we'll rest our head. Nice job. All right. Feet down on the ground once again. Feet planted, arms by your side. Head is rested. You're going to extend both of your legs out long on the ground. And stay by your side. Palms face down. Head is rested. Lift your right leg up towards the sky and keep your right leg as straight as you can. You're going to draw circles with your pointer toe with your big toe and those circles are going to go clockwise so drawing circles find a range of motion find a size of a circle that works for you so hold my hand i walk with you my dear nice job I'm trying to engage your core while you're doing this so that your the rest of your body is completely still reverse directions clockwise now Pull your belly button in toward your spine. Pull it all the way back, engaging your core, keeping your whole body still. If your body is moving a lot, maybe limit the size of your circles. All right, and rest that leg. Switch leg. Right leg goes down, left leg points up to the ceiling, leg is straight. You're gonna go clockwise, starting on this side. Big circles. Finding a size circle that works good for you, range of motion that works good for you, engaging your core, keeping your lower back glued to the ground. And switch directions, counterclockwise this time. Nice job. Alrighty, and rest. Next move we are doing is 
single leg stretch. So you are going to curl up so shoulder blades come off the ground. You're engaging your core muscles to get this lift off of the ground. Extend your, get option to have your left leg rested on the ground or have it floating off the ground. Hug your right knee into your chest, right knee bent, and do two quick pulls and then switch. Right leg extended, left knee pulls in. Wrap your arms around it. Nice job. Two quick pulls and switch. Keeping your shoulder blades off the ground. Your entire core, your torso should be frozen in motion and just your legs are moving. Nice job. All right, now we're gonna go double time. So hug both legs, hold both knees into your chest. Two quick pulls, and then you're gonna send your legs out straight and put your hands, raise your hands back behind your head. Hug them all back in, hands hug knees. Extend them all out back behind you, keeping those shoulder blades lifted, keeping your torso still. If you need to, do just the legs. Or do just the arm. Pick one. And rest. Next up. We are going to do single straight leg stretch. So if you need to come out of your curl up, you can. Um, we're gonna get right back into it. So left leg extended out long along the ground. Right leg comes up towards the ceiling. Curl up so your shoulder blades float off the ground. Right leg is straight pointing towards the ceiling. Lift your left leg off the ground if you choose so that it is hovering. You're going to wrap your arm, your leg, arm, your hands around your leg as high as you can reach. Do two quick pulls towards you and then switch. Hugging right leg in, left leg in. Leg stays as straight as possible. Shoulder blades stay as high as possible. Taking breaks when you need. Nice job. And we're gonna go double time. So legs together, hands behind your head, elbows point wide. Left elbow points left, right elbow points right. Shoulder blades are lifted off of the ground, feet together, legs are straight. Lower both legs down towards the ground and then lift them right back up towards the sky. So the key here is you want your lower back glued to the ground. If your lower back starts lifting off the ground, limit your range of motion, stop there, and then bring them back up. Nice job. Three, two, one, rest. Rest your head, rest your legs. All right, feet planted on the ground, knees point towards the ceiling. You're gonna get those hands behind your head again, elbows point wide. So left elbow points left, right elbow points right. What you're going to do is you're going to curl up once again, shoulder blades off the ground, really engaging that core. Your neck is relaxed um, because your hands are there supporting your head, but not pulling your head. That's key. All right, we're gonna do crisscross. So you are going to take your um, shoulder blades, so you're gonna try to meet your right shoulder blade to your left knee. The whole turn is coming from your core. So knee comes straight towards you, and the, the turn, the twist, is coming from your core. So opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Right elbow, or right shoulder to right knee, left shoulder to left knee. Nice job. Keep rotating. If you want to challenge yourself, extend the leg. That is not meeting your shoulder, so left knee is meeting right shoulder, and your right leg can be extended straight, floating off the ground before you switch. And we're gonna rest three, two, one, nice job. That was our first, that was our warm up. Core should be nice and warm. Just got a quick sip of water and let's continue. We are going up to flow number one. So let's sit down on the ground and you're going to straddle your legs. So they are pointed out into a V shape. Flex your feet. When your feet are flexed, 
You're then going to reach your hands forward just in front of you so your hands are between your legs. You want to keep your pelvis upright so your hips, your hips are holding a bowl of soup or whatever your favorite liquid is that goes into a bowl. You don't want it to spill over, so keep your pelvis straight up and down. Hands are on the ground in front of you, and you're going to arch your back. This is spine stretch forward. Arch your back forward slightly while keeping your pelvis where it is. Do a pulse, arch, arch, release. Come sit straight up and down. Arms can relax, and then get back into it. Arm, hands back down towards the mat. Arch, arch, and then back up. Stretching that spine forward and then coming out of it. When you do that, your head points down, your face points down. Nice job. All right, sitting up straight now, we're gonna go into a, keep your feet where they are. Your arms are gonna go into a T-shape. So your arms are extended out to either side. Your palms are face down, your hands are at the same height as your shoulders. You're going to twist your uh, body so that your left hand reaches towards your right leg and keeping your arms level and then you'll just reach forward reaching for that leg and then untwist and right arm towards left foot and untwist nice job get a couple of these in Got it, just a couple more. Opposite hand reaching towards opposite foot. Just a quick pulse reach before you switch. Again, keeping that pelvis upright, no spillage. All right, now shake it out. We're gonna lay on our stomachs here. So get onto your stomach. You're going to put your hands right beneath your shoulders. You're then going to Take your hands and keep them at the same um, level as your shoulders, just move them wider. So now that your hands are wider than your shoulders, you're going to push up out of your hands and that you're, when you do this, you are going to be lifting your chest off the ground, just slightly and pulling your chest forward and up. And then you're going to release back down. And then you're going to do it again. So repeat this motion chest comes up and forward and then release. If you're feeling this in your lower back, don't go as high. Keep the motion smaller. Take some deep breaths. One here. All right. Now, put your elbows underneath your shoulders, palms flat on the ground. You're, we're gonna move into a single leg kick. So you're gonna take your right leg, you're gonna point your toe, then you're gonna kick your leg. So if your foot is trying to kick towards your head, so you're bending your knee, small kick, and then bring it back down. Repeat on the left side. Kick your left foot towards your head and back down. You're gonna do two tiny little kick motions and then bring it back down and switch. Nice job keeping that chest forward. You just did that swan to prep us for being in this position here. You want to be out of your lower back, engaging your core, pushing forward through with your heart. Press. All right, even out your sides, and then let's go double time. So take both legs up and then back down. Both legs kick towards your head and then back down. Both legs at the same time. Job. Just a couple more here. And then we'll move on to some more glute. Deep breath. And one more. All right, come out of that. Take anything out that you need. And we're gonna get into our second flow. So for this flow, we are going to lay on our side. So I'm gonna lay on my left side. So when I am on my left side, Side, I'm going to lay in straight line and here you have a couple options. 
you can have your elbow beneath your shoulder and being propped up with your elbow underneath your shoulder in that way. Or you can use your left arm as a pillow. Um, from here, whatever decision you make, you are going to take your, you're in a straight line, you're gonna take your legs and just move them forward, keeping them stacked on top of each other. Just move them forward a couple inches. Now, from here, you're gonna take your right hand and put it on the floor in front of your chest. So, your right hand is gonna be a support for you here as we shift where our weight is to help us balance. So, right palm is face down on the ground. Now, from here, we're gonna do some side kicks. So, you're going to lift your right leg up off of resting on your left leg. And there's just gonna be a few inches between your feet now. So your right, uh, your right leg is now level with your hand. Then you are going to take your leg, your right leg out in front of you, and then slightly behind you, and then repeat, keeping it on the same level as your hip. Now you want to keep your core engaged here. So you want your leg moving, but not a whole lot of movement elsewhere in your body. Your right hand with your palm face down is gonna help balance here, help support you, as well as engaging your core, pulling that belly button all the way back. Keep kicking front and back at your own pace, trying to keep your core stabilized. You're gonna feel this in your glutes, maybe a little bit in your hips as well. All right, now rest. Feel free to drop your right leg on top of your left if you need. Then we're gonna get right back into it. Keeping that, get that um, right foot level, or that right leg level with your hip again. Point your toe, lift your right leg directly up towards the ceiling this time, and then flex your foot and bring it back down. So point your toe on the way up, flex your foot on the way down. We're gonna do this a couple times. Going in your own range of motion. So whatever range of motion works best for you, use that range of motion. So some people's legs might be higher or lower than each other's, and that's okay. All right. And a couple more here. And feel free to take a rest if you need. All right, next one that we're gonna do is small circles. So you're gonna have a point in your toe, and you're going to Draw coin size circles with your right toe, keeping it elevated um, off of your left leg, and you are going to do these counterclockwise. So, tiny, tiny, tracing the size of a coin with your big toe, keeping it elevated. Good job. And reverse directions, clockwise this time. After this, we switch sides. All right, and rest. We are going to switch sides. I'm gonna lay on my right side this time. Elbow underneath my shoulder. And um, option to use your right arm as a pillow for your head. All right, you're in a straight line. Your legs are straight, left leg is stacked up top of your right. You're just gonna move your legs a few inches forward, keeping them stacked on top of each other. Left hand, left palm goes to the ground in front of your chest. From here, you're going to engage your core, and we're gonna do our first side kick. Lift your left leg off of, so it's not resting on your right leg anymore, and it's level with your hip. Take your left leg forward as far as is comfortable, and then back as far as is comfortable. And repeat, keeping your leg level with your hip the entire time you're taking it forward and back using your core to stabilize your body, using the um, strength in your left arm, pushing down your left thumb to help you balance. Trying to keep your upper body as stable as you can. Nice job, a couple more of these. And then we switch it up and down. And three, two, one. Now you're gonna raise your toe up, or raise your leg up, pointing your toe, flex your foot, and um, lower it back. 
Uh, pointing toe, bring leg up to ceiling, flexing foot, bringing it back down to hover. Working on hips, some glutes here, but as always, bring core stability using your core to stabilize the rest of your body. Job. After this, it's going to be those coin side circles, and then we move on. All right. Feel free to take a rest if you need. We're going to move on to coin side circles, starting counterclockwise. Making that left foot or left leg elevated, just a little bit over your right. Counterclockwise, tiny circles, size of a coin, drawing that with your big toe. Job. And reverse. Clockwise this time. Job. After this one, we move on to our next one. Three, two, one, rest. I'm going to get a quick sip of water and we're going to go into a core theory. All right. Next up, we're going to do three exercises for a core series. I'm going to explain the exercises first, then we'll go through them. Do each one, one, two, three, and then repeat that three times. So, I'm going to get onto the ground. I'm going to lay on my back, feet flat on the floor, knees pointed towards the ceiling. For my first exercise, I'm going to do crunches with one leg lift. So, I'm going to put my hand behind my head, elbows are wide. So, right, or right elbow points right, left elbow points left. I am going to let my legs go straight onto the ground, toes are pointed, so I'm in one long line. I'm going to engage my core to lift my shoulder blades off the ground. Then, I'm going to, at the same time, lift my right leg ever so slightly off the ground, just a few inches, and then lower everything back down to the ground. So head is rested, shoulder blades go down, and then I repeat on the left side. Crunch up, left leg lifts an inch off the ground, and then come back down. That's our first exercise. So that's crunches with one leg lift. The next one is gonna be crunches side to side. So for the next one, you'll have your feet planted flat on the floor. Knees pointed towards the ceiling. You're still gonna have your hands behind your head, elbows pointed out to either side. Crunching side to side, you're going to engage your core to lift your shoulder blades off the ground, and then you're gonna crunch towards your right, crunch towards your left. Try not to come down. Don't let your shoulder blades drop after every crunch. Just rotating and twisting side to side. That is crunches with, crunching side to side. <laughs> crunches with a rotation. Um, and then our last one is gonna be leg lift. So this one, your head will be rested, arms by your side, palms face down. You're going to have your legs straight again for this, and you're going to glue your legs together one long line. Lift your legs up towards the ceiling, toes point towards the ceiling. You're gonna lower your legs to a diagonal, and then you're gonna bring them back up. Um, you can choose your own range of motion for how high, or how low you lift them, you, or how low you lower them, so you want them pointed towards the ceiling. Um, your range of motion is decided by uh, your low back. So if your low back starts peeling off the ground, stop there, um, that's your range of motion. So let's get to it. We're gonna do three sequences of those exercises. So crunches with one leg lift is our first exercise, which we will be doing in three, two, one. Hands behind your head, crunch up and lift one leg and then go down and repeat on opposite sides. So lifting shoulder blades off the ground, lifting one leg at a time, just a few inches off the ground. Elbows stay wide, release any tension in your neck. All of this work is coming from your core. All right, we're going to switch to crunching side to side in three, Two, one, feet flat, hands by your side, or er, <laughs> out, hands behind your head, crunching side to side. Let's go. Get those shoulder blades off the ground. 
crunching side to side, trying to keep those shoulder blades lifted the entire time. Remember, your hands are just behind your head supporting it, not pushing or pulling. Good job. Keep those shoulder blades high. We're switching to leg lifts in three, two, one. Head is rested, arms by your side, palms face down, legs together, pointed towards the ceiling. Lower them down on a diagonal. As soon as your low back starts peeling off the ground, that's your range of motion. Bring it back up and repeat. Nice job. Low ab work here. Inner layers of the abs. All right, in three, two, one. Rest your legs back to crunches with one leg lift. Hands behind your head, elbows wide. Crunch it up to bring your shoulder blades off the ground. Lifting one leg, coming down and repeating with the other. Crunch, lift, left, crunch, lift, right. Good job. After this is our crunching side to side. And Three, two, one, feet planted, knees pointed towards the sky. Crunch side to side, keep those shoulder blades off the ground. Good job, everybody. Stick with it. We're in the final stretches of our workout. All right, and switching to leg lifts in three, two, one. Head is rested, hands by your side, palms down, legs together pointed towards the ceiling. Lower your legs to a diagonal, bring them back up. Low back stays glued to the ground. Lower back glued to the ground by pulling your belly button into your spine, engaging your core. Nice job. Keep it up. One more round of this to go before we move on. Some lower back supporting exercises and then our cool down. All right, we'll take it from the top in three, two, one. Hands behind your cr head, crunches with one leg lift. Crunch up, lift right leg, crunch up, lift left leg. So the blades come off the ground, hands behind your head, just supporting, elbows wide. breath. Don't forget to breathe. All right, we're going to go to crunching side to side in three, two, one. Feet planted, knees pointed towards the ceiling, crunching side to side, trying to keep your shoulder blades lifted the whole time and just twisting to face right and left. Job. Our last set of these, so make them count. All right, and we are going to rest in three, two, one. Head down, hands by your side, palms face down, legs to the ceiling, legs glued together, leg lifts, legs lower, leg lifts. Nice job. Low back glued to the ground. Sound like a broken record, I know. <laughs> Deep breath. This is our last exercise in the series before we move into some low back work. All right. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Get a drink of water if you need. We're going to go into our last flow, which will mimic what we just did. Three exercises, three times. All right. So we're going to get onto our stomachs this time, and I'll describe our exercises before we do them. So you're going to get onto your stomach. You're going to extend your arms straight out in front of you and legs behind you. And for Superman's, you're just going to lift your arms and legs off the ground. 
and then bring them back down. So to lift them, you're engaging muscles in your core and your low back. Option two, lift either arms or legs. Option to lift, opposite arm, opposite leg. Option to lift, one limb at a time. Up to you. That is Superman. The next exercise that we're gonna do is bird dogs. So you're going to get into tabletop position. And what that is, is your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips. While you're in this position, you are going to extend your right leg back while you send your left arm forward, keeping your back nice and flat, and then coming back to that tabletop position and repeating opposite side. So let our right arm forward, left leg back, and then repeat. If it's stabilizing exercise, bird dog. Um, so that is bird dog. Following for dog, we will be doing hip bridges. So you'll get onto your back this time, and you are going to have feet planted on the ground, knees pointed towards the ceiling. Hands by your side, palms face down. You're going to lift your hips off the ground. So shoulders stay on the ground, arms stay on the ground, feet stay on the ground, engaging your glutes muscles so hips go towards the ceiling. Then you'll lower your hips back down to the ground, and then lift again. Hips lower, and then hips lift. And that is hip bridges, or glute bridges. All right, so let's get into it. Starting with Superman. So on our bellies, arms extend forward, legs extend behind us. Let's hit it. All right, go ahead and lift your legs and lower them. Try to hold it for a few seconds before you lower and repeat. Take some deep breaths. Nice job. And next up, we'll move into our bird dogs. In three, two, one. All right, onto our hands and our knees. Extending opposite arm and opposite leg and then coming back down. You want your back so flat that you cannot spill an ice cream sundae off of it or whatever your favorite spillable treat is. Keeping it balanced on your back. Nice job keeping your back flat by engaging your core. Stabilize you. Three seconds and we'll go into our hip or glute bridges. Three, two, one, roll onto your back. Feet flat on the floor, knees pointed towards the ceiling. You're going to have your hands up by your sides, palms face down, lift hips up towards the ceiling, lower them down to the ground. Nice job. You've got this. And we'll go back to Superman's next in three, two, one. Roll it on over. Arms and legs extended, lift arms and legs, and lower. Remember you have options here to either lift arms or legs, lift both of them, opposite, lift one limb at a time, whatever works for you today. Deep breath. Nice job after this is our bird dogs. All right, three, two, one. Into bird dogs. Get into that tabletop position. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, opposite leg and opposite arm. Extend and then come back. I forgot to mention, you can do one at a time here as well. <laughs> Job. Keep it in control. Core is engaged. Back is flat. You've got it. Next up, uh, hip or glute bridges in three, two, one. On your back, 
feet underneath your knees, palms face down, arms by your side, head is rested, hips go up towards the ceiling and back down towards the ground. You've got it. I believe we have one more set of these to go and then we'll cool down, so stick with it. Good job. All right, and we're flipping over to Superman. In three, two, one, Superman. Arms out, legs out. Extended rather. Options to lift and lower. Both. One. Half. Whatever you like. Last set of Superman. Good job. Next up is our bird dog. In three, two, one. Bird dogs. Let's go. Opposite leg and opposite arm extend, starting from your tabletop position. Breaths, back flat. Nice job. And Switching to hip or glute bridges in three, two. All right, onto your back. Feet flat, knees pointed towards the ceiling. Hands by your sides, palms feet down, hips go up, hips go down. Head and shoulders are rested. Nice job. And this is our last exercise before we cool down. All right, three, two, one, relax. All right, and the paws are up and in. Nice job. All right, let's cool down. I'm gonna get a sip of water really quickly. And let's start in cat-cow position. So you're going to get back into your tabletop position. So hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And for cat-cow, you're going to curl your back, curl your spine up towards the ceiling, tuck your chin to your chest, push through your palms. The tops of my feet are touching the ground, the mat that I'm on. And then you're gonna curl or let your belly hang low, curve your back under, lift your chin off your chest and repeat at your own leisure. So pushing through your palms, curling your spine up, tucking your chin to your chest for cat, and then dipping your belly low, lifting your chin off your chest, pointing your nose forward for cow. Nice job taking deep breaths. Um, one thing I do wanna mention, feel free to stretch um, do your own stretches, follow along with me, hold something for a shorter or longer period of time. You know your body best. Let's move into downward dog. I'm going to curl my toes under, straighten my legs, send my hips towards the sky into a pike position. So upside down V shape, pushing my heels towards the ground to get a nice stretch in the backs of my calves, backs of my legs. Deep breaths. And when you're ready, come out of that. You're gonna roll onto your back. And laying on your back, extend your left leg long, hug your right leg into your chest, wrapping your arms, hands around your knee, bending your right knee. Deep breaths. and switch. Hug your left leg into your chest, extend your right leg long, left knee is bent, arms are hugging my left knee. 
deep breath. All right, let go of that. Curl, uh, roll over to one side and sit yourself up. We're going to come into butterfly position. So sit in a comfortable position. Bring the bottoms of your feet or the soles of your feet together in front of you. So that makes your legs bend and knees bent out to either side. So left leg or left knee points to the left, right knee points to the right, um, depending on your flexibility. Your legs, your knees might point a little bit more upward too. That, that's fine too. And a butterfly for more of a stretch. Feet come in closer to you. Knees point further outward. Hinge forward at the waist and lean forward with a flat back. For less of a stretch, sit up taller. Knees point a little bit more upward. Feet can go further away from you. All right, from here, keep your left leg where it is. Straighten your right leg out long at the diagonal and then bring your the bottom of your left foot in to meet the inside of your uh, right thigh. Reach your right arm down to touch the inside of your right um, calf and raise your left arm up and over towards your right. So you're getting a nice side stretch in your left side here, as well as further deepening some leg stretches. When you're ready, take a deep breath and then rotate so that both of your hands reach towards your right toes. Chest faces down, deep breaths. Nice job, now we switch. So left leg goes out straight to a diagonal, right leg bends in, and you're gonna reach your left arm to the inside of your left leg. You're gonna raise your right arm up and over, reach it up and over towards your left. Getting a nice stretch in the right side of your body and still continuing your leg stretches. From here, rotate so that you're reaching both of your hands towards your left foot. If you don't reach your left foot, that's okay. Reach it towards your left knee, your left shin. Nose points down, chest points down. Deep breaths. and come out of that. Next up, seated straddle stretch. So now both legs go out into that V shape. Legs are straight, reaching forward with your hands to get a nice stretch forward. This is gonna stretch the insides of your legs, also a stretch for your back. Nice job, couple of deep breaths. And for our final stretch, we are going to bring both of our legs together, reaching forward, reaching for our toes, legs extended in front of us. If you reach your toes, great. If not, that's okay. Reach for your knees, your shins, whatever feels best to you today. This is the last stretch that we have for today. Feel free to do any other stretches that you need. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed. Check out our other videos on YouTube. We have a whole lot out there. Our mission at Northwest Association for Blind Athletes is to provide life-changing opportunities through sports and physical activity to individuals who are blind and visually impaired. Thanks for joining.